it feels like years ago, but it was really only a couple months ago, earlier in this year, when Sweet Baby Inc. employees decided to go after gamers and target gamers for them simply pointing out what Sweet Baby Inc. was doing, what their mission statement was, what their employees were saying, what their CEO was saying, and that their goal was to shove DEI into any and every video game they could possibly get their hands on. That's what they were. They were a consultation company whose efforts... Yeah were to make games more inclusive and diverse. And of course, ever since then, after Sweet Baby Inc. employees went after gamers, tried to get them deplatformed, and got destroyed for it, it kicked off months and months worth of backlash. And now it looks, despite Kim, Kim Belair, the CEO's best attempts to claim, you know, we're just the big victims here, we didn't do anything wrong, it looks like Sweet Baby Inc. has done everything in their power to hide the fact from the public that they are, are actually a woke company that wants to push DEI because they have completely removed all the mentions of diversity and inclusivity from their website. It used to go there. It was everywhere. It was all over their mission statements. their about me sections. Everything was about pushing diversity, diversity and inclusion in the video game industry. Now, it's just about making games better. No DEI talking points, no woke agenda talking points. They completely revamped their site. And now it looks like maybe, just maybe, the person who kicked all this off, Chris Kindred, the person who attacked Cabrutus, the person who tried to get that Steam group taken down, who tried to get gamers deplatformed simply for pointing out what they were doing and what games they were working on, looks like he may have lost his job. There's a new report that came out, I think, think maybe Master of the TDS came out with this rumor, with this report, that Chris Kindred has been let go from Sweet Baby Inc. Now, it does still have it in his bio. However, any mention of Sweet Baby Inc. has been removed from some social media profiles and stuff like that. Uh, there's been no confirmation from Sweet Baby Inc. They've been very quiet about it. But this is the report that's out there. That Kiss Chris Kindred, the person who started all of this shit, the person who started the cancel campaign against gamers, this dude right here, that he's no longer working for Sweet Baby Inc. after this complete and total disaster. Jay, you love games and you love talking <laughs> about games. Isn't it so appropriate uh, if this is actually true? I don't think it's true. I think they're just trying to hide the fact of what they're doing. And uh, they probably are, they might have even gotten a memo to like take it out of her. <laughs> Take it out of your bio or whatever, because we have to like build ourselves back up again. I just want to know this: How do I get a consulting gig for games to like watch a game and say, "Yeah, don't put that person here. Don't put that fire hydrant over there. That butter dish belongs up there. That's all wrong. That's out of." How do these people get work? That's what I want to know. And why would people even want to go to a company like this? You know, when they're making a game for for people to play i don't understand that this is like the problem with sweet baby sweet baby a name of a company the, the problem is like them has already been done so even if it's like even if their name is somewhat connected to a game i think people will, will already just be turned off no matter what i don't think they could change um even if they change the name from sweet baby to something else i still think it you know people will find it out so I, yeah, I don't get it. Like, I don't get the consulting companies for this stuff. I, I just don't get it. Yeah, people now know a lot of the people that are involved in this, and they've heard them for years. They've uncovered all this stuff of, you know, the CEO saying, we want you to terrify your bosses to make sure they make these games more woke. Uh, we have employees doing speeches talking about the goals, burning the games industry to the ground and starting over from the beginning with a new diverse outlook on it. They've made every effort they can to hide all of the DEI stuff from their basically public-facing website because they know it's viewed as cancerous yes. at this point. They have yes. destroyed it. That was their rallying cry. DEI was their rallying cry for years, and it's been rejected by all normal people at this point in time. So, Sweet Baby Inc., whether Chris Kindred is actually fired or not, I, I, I don't know. Um... But one thing is sure, this, this company's kind of in a meltdown mode and they're trying to hide what their agenda truly is because they know they've been yes. exposed by so many people. Yes, and and uh, probably games probably won't use their services anymore because they know that if their name is associated with their game, less people will buy it. So 
they got to do something. You know, they got to do something. 